And you'd be like, oh my gosh, dude, looking so fly, yo. Not too short, not too long. It is literally a few days before the wedding. I had all intentions of doing a lot more regular work today, but um, we got up this morning. We picked up um, Joy and Brittany, Shannon's mom and sister from the airport last night. And so we started going over a lot of the itinerary and just all the stuff for the wedding. And then this morning we had a bunch of issues and luckily and fortunately I, I did end up staying at the house because we had a lot of stuff to take care of and that I needed to clear up and that we had to get squared away. I don't want to say clear up because clear up sounds like a bad word but uh, it, it's just it's a few days before a wedding so I think anybody who knows who has been in a wedding or been part, been in part of or participated it's craziness. I am taking the afternoon here to run a couple errands right now I'm going to the P.O. box I got to get the car washed because this car is filthy and then I am heading over getting my haircut and swinging by the bank to get some cash to be able to tip out all the vendors at the wedding venue and tomorrow's gonna be another crazy day so I'm trying not to procrastinate with certain stuff if I have the time and the availability to do it, I'm trying to get it done earlier than later. Shannon and Brittany and Joy, they are separately going and doing a bunch of stuff right now as well too. I feel a lot better actually after this morning, after going over some things. And for those of you who are wondering, this video is coming out you know, delayed compared to when it actually happened. So uh, we got married. I don't know whenever this video is going to be going up. Maybe we, technically, I guess when you see this video, we will have been married for a week or a week and a half, two weeks. I don't know. Sorry. We're going on our honeymoon right away, which I already explained in uh, my other videos. So we're trying to get stuff out there and uploaded uh, in advance. So we have videos, or Shannon and I have videos going up for you guys. No joke, I feel like I'm getting a brand new car. I haven't washed my car in months. I feel like I'm driving out of here so high class. I just finished getting my car washed. I have to tell you, it feels so clean inside. It literally feels like a new car, and this car is old. I mean, it was filthy. So now I'm like driving around, being like, dude, check out my car. Doesn't it look nice. It's all new, even though to everybody else it's just like an older car. But let me tell you something. Do yourself a favor, do yourself a little treat. If you have an old car, let it get really dirty. I mean like really dirty, like months and months without washing your car, and just filthy all over the inside. I mean like just trash everywhere, just nasty, you know? And then go get your car washed and get it cleaned real well at a nice place or a decent place. And you'd be like, oh my gosh, dude, look at this thing. Look at this gleaming paint job on the side. Don't mind those scratches. And on the inside, you're driving around. You'd be like, dude, let's take the car out for a ride. It's looking so fly, yo. Even though it's like some 20-year-old, like, junked up car that you have. Just, just try it out. I think you're going to like the way it feels. I also swung by our P.O. box and there were some letters for Shannon and some packages for Shannon and I'm not going to show those on my channel. Shannon will probably open those on hers. But that's really, really cool that you guys send stuff and you send uh, letters and cards and presents and stuff to us uh, in the mail. It's really, really cool and I'm glad that you know Shannon and I are able to reach out and reach you guys and make you laugh or be entertained or you know brighten your day or make you feel better about yourself or you know whatever it is it, I mean like the different stuff that we do it's kind of all over the place and I know the way I am I'm really all over the place I mean sometimes you guys will see me and I'm pretty monotone and pretty just uh, you know nothing going on and then when I'm on fire and I'm like on a roll like I'm on a roll and so you guys see all of those different personalities that both Shannon and I have and then we try to just show you guys and be real. It's like, hey, this is this is life. Nobody's perfect. Sometimes people have off days. Some people are, you know, sometimes you're really excited and it, it's all part of life, you know? I mean, it has ups and downs. But you just stay positive and on the down part, just like, you know, take it in, 
whatever the case may be, take it in, understand it, like realize like why it's bad or what's going on, you know, with your life that's bringing you down, and then snap out of it and figure out a way to spin around it. Everybody has like bad stuff that happens to them, but the sooner that you can assess the situation, spin it around and get going again, and spin it around for a positive, every time one door closes, another one opens. So, and then even like, I always like to say in the window case, if one door, if one window closes, another one opens, and if one doesn't, smash one open and break it open and create, you know, create your next move. So, usually a lot of times, you're not always going to, you know, something really bad could, you know, happen in your life or something really difficult. And during the moment, you're thinking, oh my God, this is so terrible. Why did this happen? This is like the worst thing ever and I can't believe this. And you're so distraught over it and you don't know why. And you won't know why. When it happens, you're not gonna understand why. You're just gonna be like, "This, I can't believe this happened to me. I'm a good person, I treat people well, or whatever it is. I did well in school, I did you know, well at work, I was a good boyfriend, I was a good girlfriend, whatever. When something happens, you're not gonna know always why it happened. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, telling you, telling you, later down the line, you will find out why. It may be a month, it may be a year, it may be 10 years, but you'll come back to that moment and be like, you know what, this bad thing didn't happen two years ago, or two months ago, or whatever, then this awesome situation that I'm in, or that has presented itself today, would not have happened. And then you realize, you put the pieces together and be like, oh my gosh, that was part of the bigger picture. We're not always gonna see the big picture when it happens. We focus on this little thing, and it's a whole big world, you know? So, with that said, I think I would literally just talked a couple minutes about trying to be positive and why things happen and everything. But, I, tr I, I my goal was to keep that really simple. I had really no intention of going that direction. But, you know, I just get rolling and I get on a roll and I just start talking about stuff. Remember that next time something bad happens and keep your eyes open. And then remember later on when you have something really good happen, think of the steps that got you to that position. And you will find out and say, hey, wow, this is crazy because this worked out like it was supposed to. Or like that I ultimately wanted to. So you have your goals, you have your mindset, you have your dreams make efforts to go that direction and get that way and the pieces will start to fall into place and just you just got to remember that so there's my whole positive speech for you guys for today wasn't planning on doing that but you know what you got it how do you guys like my new haircut not too short not too long Shannon said do not cut it too short because I like to cut it short because the damn stuff grows so fast and then it's so unmanageable. I think Shan's gonna be really, really happy. I'm excited. So I try to get it cut exactly like what's gonna be best for the day, like actually right now, which I never get my hair cut specifically to look perfect right when I get it cut. It's always shorter than normal that will grow into being the right length, but it grows fast and it's thick. So it's just easy for me to do that. So I try to get it cut a like perfect length of what I like right now. So. Hopefully, my fiance, Shannon Rose, at Shannon Rose, hashtag Shannon Rose, hashtag awesome, will like it. I think she will. Can you say hi and bye to everybody? Hi, everybody. I'm exhausted. I've been up so early and so late. And it's so, so close to the wedding. I had planned on filming a lot more yeah. this evening, but we got so crazy and so busy with stuff that uh, I didn't get a chance to. So time kind of ran away from us. And this one here is exhausted. You want us to, you could say goodbye. Good night. Bye, bye she's sending all of her love and positive energy and I am doing the same I will see you guys later bye